Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic. Let's take a trip through Dollar Tree and see what we can find. I am in a Dollar Tree that I recently discovered. And this is a big one. They have the craft supplies and everything spread out in different locations around the store. So let's go and see if we can find them. If you are interested in other items in Dollar Tree, let me know and I'll start sharing that with you. Here is an end cap with some craft supplies. Got some washi tape, baker's twine, bells. I think those are bells, yeah, pearls. Got the wooden beads. So these are those trays that I shared, I think, recently. They expand and close. And it's a little tough to expand it with one hand, but they do get bigger. So they have those. Push pins that are pearls, some notepads, sticky notes, binders, the poly binders. We have some stationary items. This is some of the pegboard accessories. Oh, this is nice. This is, you get the two poly envelopes and plaid. Here's more of the pegboard accessories. And then this is, again, the expandable um, organizer. Julian, come pull this side for me. So it expands, push it back. Like that. Here's some more stuff. So they got the traveler's notebooks. These are pocket size. They have two notebooks on the inside. They have the plaid design. And I think there's one other pattern. I think this is it. Yep, that's it. These are discs. <gasps> they have some of the disc bound stuff. Okay. We should have got a basket. So they got the paper, yeah. The note paper, they got the months. Oh wow, we're gonna check that out. And down here they have covers. So that's like a neutral cover. Then they have this one. They have this one. And this one. I think this one is my favorite of them. Wow. So they got the purple disc, the pink disc, the green, and the black. They also have the little stickers planner stickers let's make sure all of this is notes yes and is all this months yes so that's everything that they have in the discount stuff wow they got it hidden over here here's some more stuff so that just goes to show when you go to the Dollar Tree, you need to check every nook and cranny because you'll find things in the strangest places or hidden and not where you would expect them to be. All right. Here you go with more craft supplies. So they got the cross stitch design. Black pom poms. Just 
going to briefly go through this section. It's their fabric and felt. I think that's probably most of the craft supplies. Here's some more kind of art supply stuff. Okay, so let's do a little comparison. <laughs> I previously picked up some of the Dollar Tree Jot brand disc bound system. The discs were lousy, so I replaced them with some Happy Planner discs. But this is one of the covers, uh, the tab dividers that I was able to find. And then this is the actual planner. This measures, the inserts anyway, measure about four and three quarters by seven and if I'm not mistaken that is about uh, the mini happy planner size uh, if you know for sure let me know in the comments but this is what this little planner looks like minus the discs the discs were white I'll show you those in a second so this is one of the covers I don't think this is the cover that came with this but I purchased a pack of the covers and they are a poly material I'll link to the video where I shared this originally so you can check it out. So I quickly found out that the discs don't work. So I used the disc for storage and I, I think the package that I purchased um, was missing a disc. So and I didn't realize it. So um, I'm missing a disc. And these are some of the other covers. It's unfortunate that they say 2023, but they can always be flipped around and used um, outside of 2023. And I don't, I think this was the original cover. But then here is the, what the other cover looks like, wild and free. Okay, so while on this Dollar Tree shopping, spree i stumbled across these this is the first thing i saw was expansion discs these are not expansion discs but okay <laughs> they are one inch discs there's 10 and it says 150 sheet capacity but look at this this says journaling by jot so is jot is the dollar tree brand so I am wondering, is this a new thing? Anybody else seen this? So then they also have this um, mint green color. So this is like a blush pink, a mint green. They had the black and in the video, you would have seen the purple or the lavender. So I picked these up. They already look different just in the packaging than these. So I am hoping that they will work. Okay, but look at the branding, look at the packaging. This is the branding and the packaging that these had. So it was just Jot Disc Planner tabs. Um, this was the tabs. I had two packages of the divider tabs, but this is the packaging. Now look at this packaging. So I think there is a whole separate line, separate from this uh, disc bound system. I found these four sets of covers. Also, the difference in this is the size. So if you look at these covers as compared to these, these are 6.375 by 8.75. So I'm wondering if that is half letter. We'll, we'll check it out and see. So, but if you are shopping for these, I think these are better quality. I can kind of tell already before even opening the packaging. Look for journaling by Jot instead of just the Jot brand. All right, let's dig into this. And I got all four because I thought all four were pretty nice. Um, I recently heard that Dollar Tree usually releases things in sets of four. Not sure about that. We'll have to see. But I'm going to keep the packaging because they make great tags for my junk journaling. So this is the cover. This is another one. It says notebook. Not really crazy that it says that. But I do like the design with the teal background and the floral. It's really pretty. Then this one is another geometric uh, 
pattern. So it's gray and pink, gray background with pink and tan, black and white. And it kind of gives you a look at them front and back on the back cover. I'm not gonna open all of these. And this one, I should have opened this one first. I think this one is my favorite. This is the one that I'll use. Let's open this up. And this is Dollar Tree. Okay. packaging so this is what the back cover looks like it's very nice and then this is the front it's unfortunate that it's white on the inside but it's okay the corners are not rounded so I will probably eventually round those but let's let's see what we can do with what we got so this pink doesn't really go with it let's check out the black I have high hopes for these discs working. And you could use all the covers in one planner. If you upsize the disc, get a bigger size disc from the Happy Planner or whatever. I think these are better. They're more rounded. The problem with those, with the regular Jot Brand disc is that they were squared on the inside. These are rounded all the way around. Kind of like, well, these are squared too, but I guess the squared part was just too big. All right, let's pop this on. The only thing I don't like is that is poly, but I can get over it. Plus the poly holds up really well. I lost a disc. And yeah, it'll last a long time. Okay, I think that looks really cute. So we have two discs left. Eight discs, pretty sure this is half letter. Then I also got these were the only inserts that I saw. And yes, they are five and a half by eight and a half, which is half letter. So this is a five slash half letter size. Let's see what we got in here. You get 30 sheets, which is not bad. And you get the month of goals, important birthdays. The paper is really flimsy, be warned. Um, then you get the monthly spread. Saturday and Sunday is split, that's not good. Then important notes. But I guess if like for a student or someone just wanting to test out and play around with planning, this would be good. You get a lot of months if it's 30 pages, I think. I think you get 15 months because two sheets make up one month. So if I divide 30 by two, that's 15 because I don't want to count them. But yeah, let's go ahead and pop these in and see how it goes. If you would like me to do, oh, well, that's not right. It <laughs> doesn't look like that got cut. Um, if you would like me to do a pen test on the paper, let me know and let me know what pens you would like me to test. And we can come back and do that. So it looks like these pages did not make it through the cutter, whatever they were using, it's two pages. So I can trim that up. The printing process isn't perfect, so these things happen. I probably should have did one page at a time though. There we go. So I can give Dollar Tree credit with this, the way they have this set up. At least we don't have like a hanging half of a month. I know in one of the previous Dollar Tree planner inserts from a couple of years ago, the inserts were beautiful, but you had like a hanging month. So the last page would have been just this. 
and you wouldn't have the rest of the month. So at least they have a full set um, where you can complete everything and use everything. All right, so those are the months. Then I picked up this one, it's Notes and Ideas. And I'm actually gonna put that in the front. Now I didn't find any tab dividers, but hopefully I will. In the meantime, I could just use a set of the covers as a divider, right? Doesn't necessarily have to have a tab on it since the dividers, the, the covers are bigger than the inserts. So this has notes and ideas lined and it has a pretty sad grid because it's so dark. I don't know. I don't like a dark grid if I'm drawing something on it or writing on it. I don't want the grid to interfere with what I'm writing. But, I mean, it could work, depending on what you're doing. This is much better. Love the tiny dot grid. Looks like you get six of each design. And then this is blank. So some blank pages. And then this is list style. So, yeah, I think you get about six of each page. So let's go ahead and put these in. That's really nice. You could have a really nice planner just from Dollar Tree. And even if you just buy the disc and the cover, you can use your own uh, copy paper and punch your own paper to use in planner or make your own planner all right so I think that's really really cute notes and ideas you got your monthlies so we're just missing weeklies and tab dividers I think I am going to use one of these covers in here to divide this just see So let's use this one since I already have it open. Let's see how I see how I like it. All right, it's okay. I mean, I could even trim it down and turn it into a tab, but I won't do that because I'm gonna still look for tabs. So as from what I can tell, the discs are so much better than these discs from this original jot planner from the mini size the half letter disc or this um journaling by jot set work fine for a dollar 25 if you need storage if you need to make your own planner if you need multiple notebooks i mean you can get grab these discs for a dollar 25 it's amazing and have a planner, but what's cool about it, it's disc bound so you can customize it to be whatever you want it to be. So I can even use some of the inserts from my DIY disc bound planner. I can spruce it up and make it cute and add all the things just like I did here. So for instance, this is a paper from Isis Ella Jewels. I'll link to them in the description box below. So I could just pop this in here. I think this is, yep. And that works great. So any of your half letter or eight disc system pages and accessories will work in this. Very nice, very cool. I hope that this collection from Journaling by Jot becomes a regular thing at Dollar Tree where it's not just you got to grab it if you see it. So I also picked these up. Um, I'm not really that crazy about these, but I think they would be nice for a student um, or again, someone starting out planning. But these are just little stickers. Important appointment vacation get it done don't forget payday holiday reminders it's the weekend to-do list uh to do birthday so that's and these pop right in they're already punched got some icons 
some quotes, a few boxes and checks. It's like a little appointment box, more quotes, and it's all in the same colorway. And then you have the months. So there's, I don't know, would these go on these months, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so if I could probably come back also and do a little decorating on here. Let me know if you want to do that as well. We can do the pen test and decorating at the same time. So yeah, drop down in the comments. Let me know what pens you would like me to test. And hopefully I have them and we can see how they work. But this is everything. Let me put these, I'm going to put these in here with the monthlies. This was everything that I was able to find in this new to me line uh, at Dollar Tree. And it was in the strangest place. I talked about that earlier in the video. So if you're looking for things, make sure you search the whole store. Um, don't just look in stationary. The first time I went to that store, um, that was where I looked. So this all could have been there at that time. Anywho, I'm going to keep all my covers together. And maybe we'll make some more notebooks or planners or journals depending on what else I'm able to find. So that is it. I'm so excited about this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you seen any of the Dispound system in your Dollar Tree? Would you like to see more Dollar Tree videos on this channel? Let me know everything in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you may be interested in this other video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.